G'day and welcome back for more of my grand tour. And I am here staring at a wall in my cryopod, which I did come back to a dead splitsy in on one of my quick checks on the server just to make sure I still had enough power. So what I've done was I went out and conveniently the asteroid that I'm in has some ice in it. So I've mined some ice. So the oxygen tank got a bit of oxygen in it, which I think I've used up a decent amount of. The single oxygen farm that I've built was not enough. I tried building some more and then I decided that mining ice was just going to be the easier way to go. So I'm going to go grab my better tools and get moving on what I need to get done today. So today what I need is power because I only have one day of power left and that means getting an engine up and running. I am not sure that I have much power left on this thing but I'm going to have to find out because it's going to be the easiest way for me to collect a decent amount of ice. But I'm also going to get rid of these farms. They're quite large and they don't really do a whole lot. It would be nice to have a passive way to get some oxygen, but I think I'm going to be stuck with an active way. And I mean, once I get that tank full, the chances of me running out are pretty slim. Why are my hydrogen tanks empty? How are they empty? They were still like 30% full when I was last on. Well, that's not good. We're going to have to do something a little bit more different. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to try and drill with that attached to the rear. Because I don't see another alternative here. I could start by... Like, I could get rid of it and just turn my large grid ship into my miner. But I have a thought as to an advantage of having the two separate ships. One, I can make the miner more effective by having it as a separate ship. But... Two... Once I get close to Titan, I can just take the little ship down. I, instead of risking my big ship, I can hide it up in the asteroid field and just come back to it later. Okay, let's do this delicately. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna have to be careful with those gyros. Especially since it's all inverted because I'm in reverse. At least I can just mine out the whole deposit since I've got my large cargo attached. Whereas with the little ship, I would fill up and have to keep coming back and forth. So the inconvenience might be worth it. I'm so glad it was locked down. Trying to lock it down when it had no fuel would be an interesting challenge. I would almost certainly bump it and then have to chase it and then it oh, be a nightmare. Alright, that's that deposit of ice gone. I think there's another one somewhere on this asteroid. I've been noticing that a few of the asteroids have multiple deposits of the same stuff. So I'm going to go hunt and see if I can find some more. I'm going to turn my hydrogen engine on and try and get some charge into my batteries. So when I finished last time, I said I was going to try and progress a little bit more towards Titan. And I've moved a little bit that way. Along the way, I did survey a few asteroids and managed to find some cobalt, some gold. And I already had some platinum from before. And I've been slowly refining some of that. That's probably what's killed part of my power reserves. But at least I did eventually stop on this asteroid with ice when I last logged on. And that was rather convenient because I was sick <laughs> of coming back in to me being dead because I was in my uh, cryopod without any oxygen. Aha! Found ice. Thought there was more. I have discovered specialized sappers. How so? I don't see any white markers. Mining transport. <laughs> it's awfully tempting to do my piracy thing again. Uh, so tempting. I'm going to keep going until I have my large cargo full if there's enough ice to do that. Because I really, really need to make sure I've got as much power as I can get. Otherwise, I'm going to be hopping on every single day this week to try and gain a bit more power. <laughs> so I'm very... I was very close to lo running out by the time I logged on today. What I need from all this ice on this asteroid is enough power to safely get to Titan and enough hydrogen to fuel up the miner so that it's got both battery power and fuel so that I can hop down to Titan, grab some ice and hop back up. Because I say, I dare say I will need some more ice at that point. Hopefully at that stage I'll also be saving up the power and the materials I need for a jump drive. Yep, I am very full. Okay. I think I've got the refinery working on stone. Nope. Oh, I've run out of stone. Okay, cool. 
Process all the stone, that means all of my space is being taken up with all of the ice. Which is what I was wanting. Okay, let's add another hydrogen engine to this. Grab some oxygen before I go outside. Because I definitely want to be able to produce power a bit quicker than I am right now. Even if this extra engine is temporary, I think it'll be worth it. So what I might do is something like popping an extra O2H2 gen. I think I should be able to make this work. If I go that way, then I go hydrogen engine and then do an extra O2H2 gen behind it. I can't recall with large grid if it's the same as small where you need two to one with the O2H2 gen, but I guess we'll find out shortly. And same on this side. Oh, we've got an extra couple of engines running, an extra bunch of ice being refined. We'll hopefully get through this quicker, which means we'll end up, fingers crossed, with the ice being processed fast enough that I can continue to mine it. Still got a fair bit of ice left on this rock and I've got a huge amount of ice in my cargo. I am very tempted just to keep slapping on extra <laughs> O2H2 gens and extra engines to see if I can eventually, well, let's see if I can max out the battery recharge rate, really. Okay, how are my batteries looking now? Charged in 38 minutes. That is more like it. How's my cargo looking too? Got a bit of space, but not a huge amount. Just do a little bit more mining. Okay, this is looking good. Now, are my tanks starting to get some hydrogen in them? No. At least my oxygen tank's full. So I won't have to worry about producing oxygen anytime soon. Military mine layer. I didn't think you got space pirates in this. Ooh. I didn't think you cut. Hold up. I only took out the passive one because I didn't think I'd get any enemy ones. I'm seriously tempted to see if I can get in on that. Alright. That's going to be self-sufficient for a little bit. Uh, let's delete the GPS that I've got from this one and put a new GPS there. Cool. Let's drop off my nice tools, because I'm probably going to die here. And I might bring a rifle. Wait, do I even have any magnesium? I don't even have any magnesium, do I? Oh no, I've got some rifle rounds. Production. Make me a... Yeah, I can afford that. Oh. Oxygen. Quickly, 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 quickly. I'm afraid it's going to despawn before I get there. But I don't want to die of suffocation while I'm trying to take this thing over. Alright, that'll loop. Let's go. Lights off. Broadcast off. Full speed. I know these ones are trapped, so if I can manage to deal with the traps, I should be able to get some sweet resources. The challenge is going to be getting close enough. At least I don't feel so cheap going after a military mine layer, because this thing will actually fight back. It's been a long time since I pirated one of these properly. A long, long time. I used to pirate these quite frequently back in the early days, but they've changed a little bit since then. I don't recall ever trying to pirate one in my suit. Okay, there is a turret on that side and it looks like a missile turret, so that's going to be the way to approach. The missile turrets shouldn't target me. Looks like there's a turret on top. I am not getting shot at yet. Oh, now I am. I can't see where the bullets are coming from. Ow! Ow! Is low. Dang it. Oh, I couldn't see where they're coming from. Uh, my markers, turn you off. I was close enough that I could have gotten some shots off. I just couldn't see where the shots were coming from. Can't pick it. Is that something down in the bottom of the front bit? Could be. Oh, getting shot again. Your Ow. Is critical. What the? Whoa. Why is my health higher again? Shouldn't be higher again. Let's do a quick screw fire bite. Let's do a dodge and see what I can see what I can see. If I get a bit closer. Uh, Ow! Okay, it's down the bottom. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Boom! Guess I hit a warhead. <laughs> I am technically on one health. Oh no! Oh, I gotta go after that. I don't know what I got shot by. Uh, light on. Broadcast off. Grab my... Bullets. <gasps> no! Oh, wait, near my body. That's where it'll be. Ooh. <laughs> oh, if I can get this, I think it'll be worth it. Maybe? Possibly? I think this thing has heavy armor, so that'll be a bunch of grids. I think it's also got... Hopefully that last remaining piece has some ion thrusters on it, because that would be really, really handy. I would like to get a few extra ones for some better maneuverability. Yep. I see the military mine layer. I'm going to go to my body first. Hopefully it's still there when I... Hopefully it doesn't despawn while I'm on my way. I need to neutralize this thing, and then I will GPS it, and then I will head over with my ship. And salvage. Okay, the last known location was not helpful. My body is gone. Good to know. Thought it was floating somewhere, so it seemed weird that it wasn't following my body. <sighs> I guess my things are being deleted. That's fine. It's only a rifle and a little bit of ammo. Okay. Am I getting shot at? Those are missile turrets. I really don't need to worry about missile turrets. There are ion thrusters on this. That makes it worth it. Got some cargo containers, got a couple of missile launchers, which I do have to neutralize. When I come in with my ship. There we go. The reason I'm shooting these is I don't know if I've got an angle on them from another direction. I could have ground them down, I suppose. Scanning antenna, that's bad. Don't want a drone to get spawned. By sensor. That looks like a reactor and another reactor. Well, <laughs> this little bit of piracy has worked out for me. Even though I died. If I can take control of this, I'll be able to see the front and check it out. As to whether I've got to worry about any turrets on the front to take out. Uh, what? Why can't I make this functional? Oh, I wonder if this is on purpose. I don't control the grid, so I can't fix the control station. I wouldn't be able to make my own functional one on here. Okay then, I guess I'm searching around the outside. Well, if I die in- oh! Hello. I think it's still alive. It's dead now, yep. I'm willing to bet there's another one in the same location on the other side. Oh. Ah! How did it get me? Dang it! <laughs> All right, I am going to. Uh, should I fly on foot? Should I bring the ship over? I think I should go on foot. Yeah, it's too far away. I need to just get there quickly. Hopefully, I can get my stuff without. Dying, because I didn't bring a gun with me this time. I might be about to do a cap hack. So the reason I didn't want to bring the ship is the ship has very, very slow acceleration. And so what I'll end up ha having to do is accelerate very slowly towards it and brake very slowly a good distance from it. So it'll actually take quite a bit of time to get to this ship. And I would like to secure it before that happens. And since I do know where the turrets are now, hopefully the... Uh Hopefully my body hasn't disappeared, because otherwise I'm going to have to grind my way through the ship to get that turret off. That's all I've got is a grinder. <laughs> well, once I pick this thing up, I reckon I can go straight to Titan, because I'll have reactors, I'll have extra ion thrusters, I'll have all sorts of uh, extra bits and bobs that will be very, very handy. Assuming the grid doesn't disappear on me. Oh, I'm being shot at. wonder if I can get my body anyway has floated a decent distance away. This would be nice to have the rifle. Uh, Ow! Your health is oh! 
Dang it. <laughs> so close. Well, I reckon this time my body will have been flung a lot further away. But I... Unless it's far enough away that it's out of range of the gun, I'm not trying to get it again. Seems like... <laughs> seems like that Bullet Trails mod that I play with a lot of the time. The one that quite literally is called Bullet Trail and adds a whole bunch of extra traces to the rounds fired by the guns might make it a little bit easier to dodge because you have a much better idea of how many bullets are flying your way. Whereas with the vanilla traces, it's not quite as easy. But I love the drama of it, so it's... Even though it has made my life a little bit easier, I'm still going to stick with using that mod because it is fun. Okay, I think I'm safe to pick up my stuff this time. Yes. <laughs> I don't know which body this is, uh, but it looks like I am outside turret range. Oh. That's probably the better one to have. Because it had the rifle and a little bit of ammo. No. It's that side that's got still got the turret. Oh yeah. That's gonna be the edge of it there. Sneaky, sneaky. There we go. That's the one that killed me twice. Lights on. Hopefully there's no interior turret at the front here. Okay. Sweet. It's mine. It's all mine. It's got no turrets left. It won't shoot me as I approach. I don't have any turrets. I won't shoot it as I approach. So I should be safe. I think. And with my better grinder, because I'll use my proper high-tech grinder, uh, I should be able to hopefully cut through that thing relatively quickly. I think it's taking me five kilometers to get up to 100 meters a second, so when I'm 5Ks out, I'm going to need to do my flip so that I can slow down. <laughs> It'll be so nice to have a few extra thrusters on this thing. And maybe I can make it a bit pretty. Maybe I can make it a bit livable now, because I'll have the materials for it. Uh, down to 6.5. have to do my turn in a kilometer. So I can get my double, rev double forward thrusters doing my braking. All right, let's turn. Three kilometers, 68 meters per second. I may have actually taken longer to get up to 100 meters a second now that I'm... Uh, no, this should be all right. I think. And good. It's still there, so I can happily grind the whole sucker down. And I'll probably get rid of my extra O2H2 gens and things as well on this, because I believe I am already pretty much out of ice. Yes, it very much looks that way. <laughs> About to burn through my last ice. And I've got 62% of my tanks, so that's not too bad. I don't know if this thing has enough thrusters that I'd be able to lift this off Titan with the ions alone. What I may do if I'm going to land on Titan, if I end up needing to, is pop a couple of small hydrogen thrusters on just for lifting thrust and use the ions for maneuvering. All right, 600 meters out. That's not too bad. I think I timed that pretty well. I wonder if it's worth me putting ship grinders on the front of this and grinding it down with the ship. I might get some of the critical bits out first, just to make sure nothing untoward happens, like me bumping this thing off and it flying off and me not being able to grind it properly. What did I get? Two. Okay, so <laughs> I'm still going to have to find some uranium myself, but at least I'll have the reactors. That's fine. I can handle that. Mainly wanted this for the thrusters anyway. To be honest, in, a, in some ways I'm kind of glad that it doesn't have a huge amount of uranium on it. It would feel real... It'd feel like I cheated myself out of the game if it had a whole lot of uranium in it. Alright, I think that's most of the ion thrusters. I can't spot any more of them. Let's see how many I actually collected. I totally lost track. So we got 160, so that's two. 320, that's another... Four and twelve hundred, which is another what fifteen? So it's like twenty thrusters, really? That many? No, that can't be right. No, that 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 can't be right because it. But it is. It's it's twenty one thrusters. Wow, I'm rich. <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm gonna have to be super, super careful not to bump this thing miles away as I do this. So that's the hardest bit about grinding something that's not anchored. 
and is so far from an asteroid that I am not towing it to anchor it to grind it down. I'll just take what I can get. I got the thrusters already, that's really all I needed. Anything else is just bonus. Yeah, six and a half thousand steel plate, two thousand three hundred metal grid. Probably don't need to do much more. All right, this is done. I'm bored of this now. I am leaving that wreck behind. All right, Titan is that way. Let's head roughly in that direction. Now what I need to decide is where I'm going to put the extra thrusters on this thing. How I'm going to make this ship look like a design that I would be happy to fly. And I think the first aim I suppose I should have is just to expand its profile a bit. It's little too narrow for what I need. So I'm going to bring this ion thruster out. How many do I need for a large ion thruster? 960. So I could put one large ion on and then put the rest as smalls. Hmm. I will consider that as I do this upgrade. Then I think I'm going to move these rounded bits out another block. So rarely use rounded armor, but it was on the original design and I'm going to try and see if I can <laughs> continue to use it. I might move it all the way up to here though. See if I can get an interesting look with a couple of those lined up like that. Yeah. Do that and then have the glass attached to the greater catwalks, which I can continue down here. So that's four forward. We got three to each side. I now need to figure out where I'm going to move. I probably will remove this ion thruster that's just sticking out like a sore thumb at the back there. Uh, but where to? I'll need to figure out what I'm going to do underneath here for the refinery. The refinery is kind of sticking out a bit too. I could do something like having... Uh, Light on a block, go with the curve there, curve, and then come back. I know the refinery still sticks out, but with the whole profile of the ship being bulkier, it shouldn't be quite as dramatic. And then if I decide that I want side windows where those thrusters are, I could actually move them down. In fact, I might do. I might move them down into this spot here. Because then instead of having them stick out at all, I could actually embed them. Yes! Yes, I like this. I like this plan. They can be my floor inside. I'm in a situation where I'm potentially under threat and what I decide to do is make my ship pretty. If I'm gonna get captured, if I'm gonna get killed, I'm gonna go out in style. So if I pop a pair of oxygen farms out like that on each side. Yeah, they do require 20 kilowatts. That's why I was running out of power before. All right, let's turn them off. If my oxygen supply ever gets low, then I'll turn them back on. But for now, they are staying off. I'll just leave them attached on the side. I kind of like the look of having them sticking out there. Alright, that's lifting. Just need braking. Okay, I think my ship is... a lot better than it was. And there is a little special person who is about to join this server. Hmm. He goes by the name Kapak. Are you in Kapak? Uh, maybe. Uh, I need to create a faction now. then. Because you're going to join me. Friends OS. Friends of Steve. Alright, you have been accepted. You are right. a member. I will share block progress with you, or will I? Yeah, I suppose I should. Alright, um, so Capac, are you spawning down on Titan? Uh, well, it's, it's orange and cyan. So yes. Alright. Time to save Capac. I'm going to create a little bit of a game for the people who are on here. Sure. If Kapak spawned on Titan, if you can rescue him before I do, I will pay you handsomely. Uh, Kapak, what I need you to do is in chat type slash F and the F needs to be lowercase. Does it now, now when you open up chat, does it say faction? Uh, yes. Okay. Create a GPS where you are and send it to me. Because that'll give me a head start over everyone else, but I may well be on the wrong side of Titan from you. Because then when you paste the GPS in chat, it's only going to come to me, uh, because I'm the only other member in our faction. Alright, I am here number one. 
Oh, great. He's on the other side of Titan from me. Looks like I've got a bit of a race on my hands. Uh, so, Kavak, basically try and collect as much stuff as you can, I, I'd say. Just, you know, survive. I'm trying, until I'm I trying. Get back. <laughs> I had a feeling Xeranut might hang around once I said that there was a race that was on. Okay. I need to make sure that no one spots my big ship. I don't mind if I lose my miner trying to rescue him, but I cannot afford to risk my big ship. So this could get exciting. I'm... I am could run into my first players. <laughs> other than Capac. Hopefully I'll run into Capac. Uh, does Titan not have an atmosphere? Uh, it has an atmosphere. You can... It's not a breathable atmosphere. Alright, 38 kilometers from Capac. I need to make sure that I leave myself hidden in an asteroid a fair way from him. The other guys are going to have to search the surface. Um, Capac, you've got a beacon on your pod. Okay. Uh, can you hop into the pod and just tell me how far the beacon's broadcasting and if it's on and broadcasting? It's off. Okay. You've also got an antenna. Yes. Turn off your antenna. Okay. Turn on your beacon. Okay. And broadcast let's give them a little bit of a help broadcast to two kilometers it'll make it a bit easier for them to spot you and make sure it's like marked as you i just want to give them a fighting chance to find you before i do oh okay here we go now we can demonstrate the giant holes in the ice lake that are showing up from this altitude of someone who is someone's made a base here i reckon someone's done some mining here i can even see where Capac is, that there's a little indent there. So that's how easily you can be spotted from space. And I might find myself an asteroid around here to hide in before I head down to rescue Capac. So have you got your remote control built yet? Yep. Have you flown over to the rock now? Uh, I've got some rock. Oh, but I thought you were going to move closer to some rock or something. So you could mine it more easily. What is your plan down there? Uh, I'm pre trying to prepare myself in case anybody gets near. You're building guns? Well, I don't have the materials for guns. So what? in what way are you preparing yourself? Well, you'll see if you get here. <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess I get a surprise until I edit this. So obviously some of the things I'm telling Capac to do, like turning on his beacon, are things that you would definitely not do if you were trying to hide. But... This isn't just for... well, I figured it'd be a bit of fun if we had a bit of challenge. I should have turned my brakes on a lot earlier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I promise I'm not wearing a dress. <laughs> I'm wearing a spacesuit. It is quite cold. <laughs> yes, I imagine a dress. Oh, I just parked on, a, on an asteroid with uranium. Oh yeah. And I have the materials for reactors. What a lovely turn of events. I slow down, I should be able to convert. Players transferring authorship of 415 blocks worth 266 PCU in ship don't delete to you. Do you accept? Who is the player transferring stuff to you? Captain Vodka Boy. Um, why is he sending you stuff? I don't know. It seems suspicious. I'm gonna show me some kind of Nigerian email scammer and say no. <laughs> if you want this spaceship, just give me your bank details. <laughs> yeah, it certainly sounds like that, doesn't it? Uh, if I do see anyone, will they turn up as red? Yes. If they're transponding. They may not be broadcasting. What have you done? Oh, I see an antenna. What kind of antenna? A... It's just red. It's not anyone in particular. Oh. Red means bad. Yeah, but it's it's not owned by an evil faction. It could just be that we don't know the person. I'm gonna go look at it. You still okay down there? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm kind of leaving you to the wolves a bit here, but I think it'll be a bit of fun. Man, I'm in a deadly survival <laughs> situation. You're just exploring the place. Oh. Now it says Eisen Antenna, Respawn Planet Pod. Oh. Okay, I can no longer see the zebra wagon. So I hope that's the same for you. 
I'm gonna go investigate this person's pod. See if they'll give me something to help me fix up my connector. And maybe build another O2H2 gen so I can refuel faster. <laughs> this is just really painful. Oh no, they can't, because I need... Wait, do I need tubes for that? I'm gonna chance it. I'm pretty sh I, I do know who Eisen is, so I think there's a reasonable chance that he'll uh, help me out here. This is risky, but I think it's gonna be worth it for the fun of it. Oh jeez, are you frantically typing to someone? No. Oh, you're just naming stuff. Probably shouldn't land this close, but... I don't want to have to walk far. Oh. The data pads still not work. What do you mean? Like, when I put stuff on a data pad... Did you click... Like, how did you close it? Because I think with a lot of stuff in Space Engineers, if you cancel, it deletes whatever you've done. You have to There's close it another way. There's only one button, and it's oh. okay. I my nose forward. It'll work. What? Why did it work this time? Lag? Maybe? Uh. Oh, is that balancing? Looks like it's... Balancing... Nope, it's not balancing. Dang it! I did not make this so it could land, and I don't have a landing gear, and I'm down to 11 fuel. 11% fuel. Uh-oh. What? Yeah. Have you been spotted? Help! Oh! I don't have enough fuel to help you! There's an ice and... What? Oh, I'm at his pod! Sweet! He's trying to get in! No! Wait, you're at his pod. Yeah. Threaten him. Tell him I'm at his pod. He'll lose his respawn if he does anything that mean. Oh, I can do better than that. What? Ah! Did you just kill him? No. What did you do? I'm running away. What? I thought you were going to take advantage of me being at his pod. I am. How so? Where do you think I'm running to? Oh, do you? can you see it? Oh, right, you're going to run to me. Uh, I don't have a chair. I'm going to have to steal his chair. Well, steal faster. Okay, 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 okay. I'm stealing his chat. I don't want to turn around to see if he's following me. Oh no! Oh, oh, well I've got his data pad now. And his ammo. If I can get it. Yep. I don't know where his gun went. Well, I could have used that gun. Oh! Got his gun. Uh, I wonder if I can hack his antenna. Oh, I won't be able to rename it without it broadcasting as me. I'm here. You are? Oh, you flew here? Yeah. Oh. That's cheating. What? Look, I was in clear and imminent danger. <laughs> yeah, but no one's going to be able to keep up with you. Uh, Alright, fine then. Let me fix this. Quick, let's get out of here. Yeah, I've got no seat for you. Whoops. No, he, he should have been right behind me. What? I don't know how to make antennas? What do I need to build to build an antenna? Is this your ship over here? Yeah. Why is it all fallen over? Uh, because I don't have any, um... I don't have a landing gear. Oh. I don't have any fuel either, so... Oh, much fuel, so I'm not taking off yet. I mean, even then, it's very fallen over. Yeah, I, it was the only way it would balance. Because I needed to turn the thrusters off. Because I didn't have enough fuel to keep them running. Uh-oh. Is that you? Yeah. Um, can you make this not access denied? Make what not access denied? Oh wait, I might be able to make it not access denied. No, don't grind my ship! What? Oh, this. You're grinding this. But you're grinding my ship. Grind what I want. No, you won't. Uh. Uh, beacon. Well, this thing doesn't have power, oxygen, or hydrogen. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now people will know what's going on. Uh, I need some computers from this thing. Let's get some computers. There we go. I fixed the... the tank so I can get oxygen and hydrogen. Good. Uh, they have computers? No. Ooh, strong unknown signal. It's only 5,800 <laughs> kilometers away. Yep. Yep, we'll get there in a moment. Activate the jump drive! Oh man. Where is he? I thought he would be chasing me. Yeah, he's not going to have spotted you. Oh, he spotted me, alright. Oh, I need one more computer. 
I suppose I should build a chair for you. I saw him when I came out of my Have you got enough hole. O2 uh, to survive to get to space? Do you think? I just topped up out of the, the things here. Okay, just checking. Actually, I can make sure my tanks are full too. Oh, you've got a bottle. Uh, yep, they're both full. Okay, cool. Uh, I've put your chair in the usual spot. Oh, good. So once we get going, I'm just going to check on my fuel reserves. Uh, up to 15%. Tank. Tanks are slow. Uh, hmm. Are you about to run out of power? No. These batteries One day. are quite empty. One day of power with the current use. Hmm. Uh, where's the pod? Uh, 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 what else in here has a computer that I can steal? Uh, is that a ship over there? Where? Um. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, that's a problem. Uh, it doesn't look like it's moving. No, it doesn't. It does look very stationary. Um. What do you Should want to I do? Go have a look while you fix up your ship. Well, I don't have a. I, I can't respawn here, just so you know. Well, I guess I'll respawn at my pod. Yeah. Ah! ah! What? Where is he? Is that you beside the thing, or is that him? That's me. Okay. It's extra creepy with the uh, realistic sounds because I can hear myself breathing. Wait, maybe he's still. That ship's coming closer! Oh, jeez! It's coming in very fast! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Get this thing off the ground! I, uh, uh, but they're gonna chase! They're, no, they're gonna crash! Oh jeez, they are gonna crash. Oh! Oh, it's Vodka Boy! Ooh. He's in some kind of super scuttler. <laughs> okay, we didn't get shot at. Oh, there's something else flying towards it. There is? It looked like a dude in a jetpack. It might have been Ison. Well, I'm going back down because we still don't have a lot of fuel and if they're not shooting us, they're not immediately hostile. Oh dear. Can you stick a landing gear on the bottom of this, please? Uh, I probably don't have the parts for um, it. Eisen's pod does. FOS, totally not capac. Is that you? Uh, yes. That's my pod. Ah. It's getting merged with other signals. I wonder if Eisen will mind if we steal his O2H2 gen. Of course not. We've what? already stolen all his other stuff. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna do it then. Oh, I think that ship's coming back. Well, this is gonna help us refuel faster, so I'm gonna focus on this right now. Uh, do you have like a gun or something? Oh yeah, I can probably give you Eisen's. All I've got is a grinder. Don't start shooting though. They haven't shot at us, so I don't want to start something if it's not- if they're not planning on starting it. Buzzing the tower is a... Prime. <laughs> wow. You struggle with that so much that all you came up with was crime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, in the connector I am putting a rifle and I am putting a few magazines. Aha. Uh -huh. This fully armed and operational battle station. Oh, it's getting real close. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna have to negotiate our way out of here because if I try and fly away they'll set chase. Which direction's it in? Can you see it? Yeah, it's the uh, back the way it went. Which way did it go? Towards those hills. Oh. It's right there. Where? Oh, right. I see it now. I don't know why I couldn't see that. Uh, they want you? See you, go back. What? They just want you. Uh... <laughs> uh, the ultimate betrayal. <laughs> Sorry, Capac. It's just too much fun not to do. <laughs> and you're laughing and smiling, so I'm pretty sure you're not that upset by it. How rude. Oh, I've been surrounded. 